<sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think eh? you could out of here Come and get some, Eggman! Sonic! I'm my Just leave it to me! This time, I'll take your lives as well as the Chaos Emerald. I call on you to destroy these pests! Come out, my servant! Hello guys, welcome back to my Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play. I am Nobody, and I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And we're going to jump straight back in here with taking on the Egg Golem. And uh, the last time I left off, I left off on the Dark Side Cliff. Um, but this is uh, what the fight would be like if, since you're not Eggman. Um, the fight with Eggman is a bit different. Oh, you bitch. Um... Mainly, you're shooting him. Obviously, game mechanics aside, uh, there are some differences. Uh, you don't want to attack his head. You want to attack his chest, actually. Um, also, he apparently just doesn't want to let me hit him. Well, unfortunately for you, Mr. Uh, Golem, we've uh, made our way back here, and we're just going to... One, two, three, four! And you update him uh, five times, and then he's done. Uh, the fight with Eggman, honestly, is actually easier. Um, also, to a lesser extent, if you really want to avoid all his attacks, you really can just drop down. But, uh, and you can't do that with Eggman, because, um, with Quicksand, like I mentioned in Sand Oasis, Eggman just falls, and you have no attempts to get out with him. But, as you'll see with Sonic here, I'll show you real quick. I can just jump all day, and I will never fall in. So it's kind of a. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's in like a two ton walking mech, but still. Kind of annoys me. Just like the other thing annoys me is that lightning texture on around the field up there is not moving at all. Just minor pet peeves of mine. I know it's an old game, but. It, mm, I can. I can put on the nostalgia glasses for a few different things, but I cannot put on the nostalgia glasses nice for visual slide effects. Slide. When I see something better, I just, I can't. It, with very, you know, sprites and 3D models are two different things to me, but, you know. You know, I always thought the pyramid opening up like that was weird. Also, why does Eggman have... I, I guess that's what happened to Atlantis, it didn't... This joke is in poor taste. Never mind. So this is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. What? Yeah, there is no way. Is everyone alright? We should be landing oh, no. soon. The hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what do you master mean, emeralds. Don't sweat it, right? Land the Knock shuttle and off, let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! <laughs> What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted, dusty too. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. 
But looking at it now... Now it's an abandoned arc, wouldn't you say? There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attack. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it from Isn't inside. Isn't that a chaos emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the chaos emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? I hate you! You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun! I do not understand why they made that last part of Amy's dialogue echo. It, it does not make sense to me, but wh whatever. <laughs> like, I, I, it's not annoying. It's just out of place. Entirely out of place. Anyway, we're going to start our first gauntlet on the final hero missions with the failed jump that I just made as tails with the first in a series of four space missions, I believe. Um, and that's not counting the boss fights, but yeah. Uh, and that's just for the hero mission, by the way. Um, okay. Overall, they're actually not the hardest missions in the game. I, At least not to me, I should specify. Um, Excluding Sonic's uh, Final Rush, I think is what Sonic's is. I can't remember Sonic's is Final Rush or Shadow's is Final Rush. I think Sonic's is Final Rush and Shadow's is Final Chase. But Sonic's mission is... Oh, I'm playing Tails, I'm talking about Sonic's mission. But the Sonic's mission is essentially a series of rail grinds. And in this game, rail grinding is simultaneously the easiest thing to do and the hardest thing to do. Um, Tails' mission, on the other hand, is no different from literally everything else we've been doing as Tails the entire game. Which, uh, you could argue, is boring, but in terms of gameplay, Tails is probably the most solid we have. Sonic can get glitchy at times. I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm talking shit about this game that I absolutely love, but Sonic has a bad habit of getting glitchy, at least to me, at the worst possible times. He goes through platforms sometimes, occasionally enemies, if I roll into them or somersault into them, will completely ignore the fact that I had somersaulted into them and he just goes straight through them. You know, it, it, there are some issues that I am not afraid to acknowledge do exist. However, with that said, that does not mean Tails is not free from his share of issues. Mostly cheap shots and random enemies that pop in. Um, and you don't have to deal with that a lot with Sonic. Knuckles' biggest problem is while his gameplay is probably the most put together in terms of how it works mechanic-wise, there is not very much to it at all. It is at its mo it is at its very core here, or it is at its very core a collectathon. And I am not a collectathon fan. I'm not even a Banjo and Kazooie fan. And that's like blasphemy on the internet, but I know. But I am not a Banjo and Kazooie fan. I am not a collectathon person. Um, I don't know. There's just nothing interesting or enjoyable to me about walking around looking for things. Puzzle games, on the other hand, are a bit different because you have to figure out how to solve it. But a collectathon is very okay. simultaneously straightforward and not straightforward enough. I don't like looking for objects and materials that are hidden along the maps in the most obscure places that you would never think to look. That's just not me. Um, nothing I get my kicks out of. Um, now, with that said, there are probably, there's probably going to be an exception to that that I just haven't played yet, because I haven't played Banjo and Kazooie, but 
played, and when I say played, I mean played and beat. I have played it, but I didn't play it far enough to consider it an experience that most other people would have with it. But the idea of the game in general, I do not care for. Oh god. Get out of here. The best blue blobs to kill in this stage are the ones that float. Or the, yeah, the giant orbs. Ooh, hey. Oh, damn. Oh, well, I tried. Can I help you? No. Wait a minute, can't you shoot for these? I did get the thing, right? Yeah, I did get the thing. Um, as typical with most Sonic games, I think I just do it myself. Woohoo! I thought I was screwed. As is uh, not typical with most Sonic games, I'm sorry. This game actually doesn't have multiple pathways. It just has... I mean, I guess it does, kind of. They're not really multiple pathways in the sense of a Sonic level. Um, or the classic Sonic games. They're very much multiple pathways in... You could go here, or you could go here, but it doesn't really matter, and it's only like... It's basically, if you were to walk into a hallway and you see a blue door and a red door, you go through the red door, and you end up opening up into a hallway that just has the blue door lead into the same hallway. The only choice is really which door you went through. There's no real experience to be had aside from maybe a death trap, like the one I was just in. This is the easiest end of the game, um, however, if you blow it up, <laughs> I've done this many a time when I was a kid, I blew everything up, and then I kept holding forward, and I just walked right off the edge without jumping. So if you're playing this for the first time, you might want to keep your eye out on that. Was a And now we come to my favorite Knuckles level, but it is also the most annoying in terms of where the emeralds can wind up, because they can wind up in the most obscure, out-of-the-way places that you would never think to look. But why is this my favorite Knuckles level, you might be asking yourself. Well, there's a common theme that you might have noticed with the other three that we played, and that's excluding Pumpkin Hill. They're all very closed in. Wild Canyon is a very closed-in space. It does not play well to Knuckles. If you want to count climbing as Knuckles' main ability, which I guess it is in some ways, yeah, sure. But 3D games, the most exploitable ability, and the one that I think they should have centered Knuckles' gameplay around the most, would be his ability to glide, which is what they did. They should have included his gliding. They shouldn't have been ignored, I guess is what I'm getting at. Aquatic Mine... Yeah, you can swim, but that's that, 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 that the water levels in Sonic games are not fun. Water levels in Sonic games are not fun, except Chemical Plant and Sonic Generations, and Chemical Plant and Sonic Two, and Hydro City, and Aquatic Earth. Water levels are not fun. That particular water level is fun, just because I, I just don't like the closed-in areas. I've always enjoyed flying around and gliding as Knuckles, and I like being able to run as fast as I can, take a running leap, and fly off into the distance. Never come down. But I digress. 
the other two levels, Wild Canyon and uh, Aquatic Ruin, are very closed off. They're very... Not even combat-centric, which I kind of figured Knuckles would have a lot of, but he's the one who fights the least, which is kind of funny, because he's the one who's supposed to be the most violent. Um... Keeping gives things that let you punch stuff. I digress. Meteor Herd and, to a lesser extent, Pumpkin Hill are both very large, expansive levels that you can explore in. And it's fun to look around. It's fun to uh, see what they, uh, what you miss when you play this level. Because you're not going to see it the... Unless you spend 10 minutes on the level, you're not going to see the whole level the first time you play the game. It's just, it, it's just not going to happen. There are still parts of this level that I've missed. And I've been playing this game since I was... 6. 5, actually. So... It's a pretty big place. I like to think I've covered every nook and cranny, but I probably haven't. Hey look, that was an emerald piece! That was an emerald piece, right? I'm not crazy. That is an emerald piece! That's the last emerald piece! Because it's moving! Get back here! Two more left. So that happened. I guess it pays to walk around. Oh no, don't tell me. It's in here, isn't it? Is it in here? No, okay. I thought it might be. I guess not. Is it over this way? No. Is it over this way? It very well could be, but I need to get more height. Also another life, because lives. Also, if you're staring at my kill count, or my life counter, and wondering what the hell happened, I have a long story to tell you. So this is actually my third attempt at recording the hero story. So, my uh, program, and if anyone can give me an explanation as to why this happens, my program that I'm recording with, Blaze TV, I had recorded the entirety of the final hero run. Wait, my computer lowered. Sorry. I had recorded the entirety of the final hero run, right? And I, I had possibly my greatest run as Sonic on Final Rush ever. <laughs> and my footage corrupted. Now, I don't know exactly how to explain it and not sound like a talking nutcase, but essentially what happened it's closer. was my footage... It recorded everything, but the footage itself, it looked like someone had split the footage into fours. Like, you know, cut it down like a, a giant plus in the center of the footage. And then took the bottom left half of the cut and replaced it with the top right half of the cut. And took the top left half and replaced it with the bottom right. Like, it looked like someone inverted where everything was supposed to be. Like, it was a broken puzzle. And uh, I could not for the life of me figure out what the hell was going on. In fact, I honestly kind of hope that this recording is going well. But I guess we'll see if this is the one I upload. <laughs> um, so it, I'm hoping to have this up on Monday, but if this is Tuesday and you're watching this, all four of you who are subscribed to my channel, if you actually have to be watching my stuff. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, now if you happen to be watching this down the road and I somehow wind up to be incredibly famous, which God willing, I think I quit YouTube at that point because I wouldn't know what to do with all the people who now want my attention, which, God, I hope that never happens, but, you know, yeah, so that's what happened, and if you happen to have a fix for this and I haven't fixed it already, uh, I would appreciate some advice, um, but I was kind of pissed. If I can dig up the footage for my run as Final Rush on Sonic, I will uh, put it up on YouTube and show it to you. But uh, don't hold your breath. I think I deleted it. Which sucks, too, because it was really cool. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a repeat. Oh, man. Six minutes in and we still can't find it. 
Ah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna take a hint. Floating stone above a moon. This isn't a Green Day song. Honestly, if I were to guess at what that means. You see those moon and sun platforms that are kind of like all over the place? Occasionally you can dig down to those and you'll find things. Um, you might not always, but hey. Oh, so I have to, I do have to go up there. Great. But yeah, see, uh, occasionally you can dig down into these and sometimes you'll find things. Um, you could also, here, hold on. Look at them with the uh, sunglasses which lets you see hidden things. Um, and if you want to get rid of them, you just jump. But the sunglasses will let you, the sunglasses are kind of neat if you want to find like extra lives or something. Uh, not necessarily something I would always use, but hey, uh, to each their own, I guess. Honestly, they're kind of useless to me because I'm not one who spends a lot of time looking for things. Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, especially extra items and whatnot, I usually just want to get through the story, or the main mode, you know, clear all my objectives, make sure all the stuff's done, gotta save the cheerleader, save the world, or, uh, save the hedgehog, save the world, uh, uh I, I don't know. That's a hero's reference, guys. I'm dated, I know. So if it's at the tip of the arc, part of me thinks it would be like right here, or around here, but it's not here. That makes me sad. Floating stone above a moon. Tip of the arc. Okay. I am not worried about my score at this point in a stone on a moon symbol on the highest platform. Does that mean I still have to go up? Great. It did say the tip of the arc, but the higher I got, it did That's a rip off Star Wars one though. Ah, go figure if I just went a little higher. It's right at the top of this, isn't it? It's closer. Really? I kind of wonder how the hell it wound up all the way up here. I found him. Nine minutes. Jesus Christ. I have to try harder.